you, uh, uh, is there any questions that you like that I asked before that you wanted to answer after the game? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do it like, as we go, pretty much. As we go, okay. it'll, it'll... Is this is this being recorded so I could like rewatch? Yeah, yeah. Like... I have obviously this is recorded, and then I'm I'm recording the second half already. Cool. And then uh, so should... I'll probably I mean generally so like I I upload some things to YouTube. Um, I'm you starting to yeah, I'm uh, starting to. I only have two uh, videos on there right now. One of them is a diamond two eighty carry from K- Caitlin, and one of them is yeah. like platinum four three Siver. But um, you have like on the it, 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 Yeah, I can do that. If I do upload YouTube, I I usually just do the second half. Though I don't like put the I don't yeah. put my the live because I don't think that part's necessary. You know, just hearing yeah, me telling course. how to play because I do the same thing in the post on the actual important yeah. parts. Um, and obviously just because hour and a half long videos <laughs> look yeah. a little more uh, yeah. <laughs> intimidating totally than like forty minutes. Um, anyway, yeah. <clears throat> all right. So first note I have. And this is again, I, I said camera, and it, this is kind of small. I like the queue here. I tended to this too. It just guarantees them. Also, what this does is it, it pushes up the wave a little bit, so you already start mm-hmm. to get pushing for level two. It's pretty good yeah. to do. Um, this is bad walking right here. Rakan is yeah. in this bush. We know this. Why are we here? If he W's you, it's Zaya Rakan. This is a free, literally, you're, you're just asking to die. If, they hit, if he yeah. hits W on you and Zaya falls up, you're going to die. Or you're going to be so low that you have to back slash blow slumps. So you should definitely, if you know someone's in this bush, you should always be yeah. positioning up here. And and at this yeah. point, because because we don't care about hitting Zaya or Rakan, Zaya or Rakan have have engage. Nami just has poke. You you don't care about what, what we're we're not looking to poke. We're gonna let Nami poke right now, and we're gonna stand up here, and we're just gonna focus for level two right now. Because if we hit level two before them, now we can poke with Nami because now Nami has either her E or her bow or whatever she takes, and that gives us obviously they're level one. You know, level two to level one's a huge difference, but it yeah. lets us zone them, and now by then hopefully we'll have a slow push building up like you'll see coming uh, into this because. Thank God, Rakan fucking shits the bed right here. Yeah. But this trade is just so is really unnecessary right now. Really, really unnecessary. We we need to just be focusing on the wave, because you already have the wave advantage. All we care about right now is continuing the wave advantage, so we can hit level two faster and Nami can harass them. And if you're up here, you're not going to be able to take any damage. And if Rakan wants to engage on you, obviously he's not going to be able to reach you from the bush over here. So he'll have mm-hmm. to show up before he's going to do it, and we'll see it coming. So it kind of just stops him from being able to do anything. <sighs> she gets engaged on, kind of trade back. It's good she lives. If, if, if to be honest, you're lucky that because if they just ignited, if they just ignited and fl- both flashed, she's dead. Yeah. Um, this is kind of like nitpicky, but like this is really, 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 really important to understand as AD carry. You should be healing right now. Luckily, Zaya is not in range, but a, a better Zaya player would would already be standing up here. And if she's in range, this Nami's dead right now. She's 100% going to die. If you don't heal her before this ignite comes out, she's going to die. And then your lane is going to be hell. Yeah, I'm kind of stingy about my heals. Like, yeah, I, I, a lot of yeah, yeah, a lot of people AD carries don't don't learn to properly do it. Like, not all everybody, but the good ones do. The the, the ones that you see don't are the people that you don't see climbing because they keep dying. Because <laughs> if yeah. sports die. And then the lane's I, I over. Saw, like, yeah, if Nami dies in this lane, of, you're fucked. I saw a video of Sven, like, he went to lane, and then he engaged on him, and he just healed. Instantly like, healed. Instantly. Yeah. yeah. Or if, if, if this Rakan W was going to hit you, I would have flashed it. Flashed it. Yeah. Like, immediately. Level 1, full HP, I don't care, I'm flashing this. Because I would, you, you're going to get hit to such a low amount. Of, if, you're, if you're at this Nami's HP, you're out of lane. And especially, yeah. like, pay attention. Like, if, if they do that, and the wave is still like this, and they just, they just mm-hmm. let it slow push to you, you're going to miss two full waves on top of it while you recall. And you're done. You're out of the game from level one right here. Because <clears throat> you don't have to get kills level one to win the game. In this lane, you should never be killing them level one. They will always win level one, is what you should assume. Yeah. Unless, you know, this is like an 80-20 play to, to try to fight them. Yeah. You, you trade well back onto them there. You queued, your Q hits the minions still. You, you do some Fair poke back. But also what's good here to, to notice also, and I'm sure you do, is you have a huge mini wave, so if they are going to come in on you on this, they, they can't necessarily win. Because if they do keep chasing here, uh, you'll likely yeah. take one for one because they go on Nami. But less, more, more or less than this, uh, or more so than this play, the level one down here was really, 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 really bad. bad. Yeah. I just didn't think of... Mm-hmm. Uh, All right, and then, oh. and then we want to notice, okay, we have a slow push building up. They are engaged, so this is really good for us because whenever you have a slow push, your range support like Nami can always just zone and harass, right? 
She yeah. can just stand at the, at the base of the mini wave like she is right now. They can't walk up. I don't know why she's going back so far right now, but they can't walk up or else this happens, right? And that's just free poke, and then the more they get poked stuff. So. As soon as this wave crashes now, we have the slow push. We have like nine minions here, ten minions here. As soon as this is crashing, we want to sh- we we want to be shoving this in now, okay. because we don't want to be stuck in the w- lane right here. Yeah, we have a big wave, and if they do gank us, these two are still level one. It's probably not going to get much out of it. Uh, it could. It's it's unlikely, but regardless, you don't want to be stuck right here because if you have to leave this lane now, like it, say you're freezing it right here, trying to slow push it, and yeah. Just for example, I know this is, it's too early in the game right now for Scuttle, but like let's say it's like 3 minutes, 30 seconds, right? Scuttle's up, and your jungler's going to be contesting them. If you have to leave the wave like this, they can also just leave the wave, and it's going to push into them, and they're not going to miss anything, and you're going to miss this whole wave now. Right. So we need to get in position, plus we want to get vision, and we want to get our priority by just crashing this now that we have a big wave here, because it's going to make this big wave, the bigger the wave that's crashing into them, the longer they're stuck under tower, right? So we just crash this into tower as fast as we can. We'd, we'd even just use our Q. We're pretty healthy on mana. We don't really care. They hit two, and they got a really good engage off. We backed up. Then Nami flashes for the tower. Yeah, N- Nami played this really well. Yeah. See, th- this is the beauty of a, of, a, of a slow push, right, against this team. They hit level yeah. two, and they should still beat you guys, but because you have this yeah. wave, they died. They actually lose it. This is why slow pushing is like probably the most underrated and... Like important tactic to learn as a bot laner <clears throat> because there's two people. Like there's just so much pressure whenever a slow push happens. Yeah. And you probably know this is top lane. Whenever there's a freeze, you feel like you can't fucking do anything. Oh yeah. When I the reason why I quit playing top lane is because uh, it's so matchup dependent. It's like insane. it's like uh, what happens? Like I, they get a freeze and I, I spam him my jungler. Just come and just break the freeze. That's all I need. Like I and don't they, care. they like, don't understand. Go that. do whatever. And then they just like. They, in, the, in their mind, and the yep. game's over. I'm just like, bro, in, like, in their mind, it's seconds. in their mind. A freeze is not. I want to push this out. It's that's not a kill. I can't gank that. It's like, dude, you yeah. can take all the farm. Even I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Just, just save my lane, freeze. bro. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that, but that's here, like I don't know why you W this mini. I would just W the recon, just to uh, say fuck you. But uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't know. I don't think the W does enough damage yet to kill him. But it would put him super, super yeah. low. That Nami could maybe like follow up. But we got the crash, so this is good. We don't need the plate, right? A lot of people at this point are always greeting for plate. You're not going to yeah. get a plate before Zaya gets to lane. And even if you do, if Zaya comes to lane full HP, now you're just stuck in lane with this much mana and HP and you're fucked. Yeah, it's screwed. Yeah. Uh... So if we're like full HP, if we're still full HP, full mana, we can just yeah. drop a ward up in the tri bush, come back down, and keep keep pushing them in, right? Mm-hmm. But. but and, then, and then go for reset. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Back. Oh, let, let me. The, I didn't. The first part. This is just going back. I I, I mis- brushed over this, or I missed over this part. Yeah. This was where I say the camera. Like this is where your camera's bad. This is bad. Okay. Do Do you see why? Like, look, look at the should, center. Is the center is down here? Why we don't need to see any of this? Okay. We don't care about this at all. Like our camera should be centered like over here, so we can see up here and we can see down like to this to this wall down here right and we can just see that we have visibly the whole lane and we're ready to react and then our champion will be like in this like up upper right quartal quartile of the screen right since i don't need to see back hmm? since i don't need to see the back bush in the back of the lane yeah it's yeah like still point yeah. plus it's just in such a weird spot to like it's just not in a good it's just in such an awkward spot like looking at this yeah. just like I, 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 I don't feel good looking at it, Mr. Stark. But that's obviously just like a little bit nitpicky, but I just want to show you so you can see like you're doing that with your camera. And it sounds yeah, I, like I, it's not important, but it is. It actually I, I'm is. I'm just trying to like uh, break away from a uh, blocked camera. Mm-hmm. Like if yeah. when you unlock, or again, right here, yeah. they like are, if we just divide it into four. Yeah. We should always be on this side because this is our side of the map, and they should always be on this side, right? Because okay. then, when we have us up in this in this side of the map, now we can see still like all. Now we can see all the way behind their tower, just so we have the the idea, the vision, right? And and it, yeah. it just gives us better control of our character, to be honest. Because now you can click, 
you can click behind that. It, 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 it seems weird and it's hard to explain it, but it actually it does help, man. I'm, t I'm telling you, it's, it is important. It, it just it just be more efficient because yeah, uh, clicking to the back is it, there's no point. It, it's the same concept of like you know when you hear or like APM, right? You're like while well, higher yeah. APM, how does that help me if I'm just clicking the ground more? It's it's more of a fact that it keeps you prepared. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's like a precursor to the fight you know it keeps it keeps your it's like uh fuck man i don't know it's like know, warming, up. It's, like, it's, like it's like like running did you ever play sports you play basketball playing basketball or something did you ever play sports yeah yeah what sports basketball basketball water polo water polo water polo yeah, so i mean just, yeah water polo nice that's that's, that's just, pretty tough so but basically you, it's just like swimming laps before like you play official match just to warm up your body. Kind, it, it's more kind. like it's more like in basketball when you're staying on your toes. When they say stay uh, on your toes, like so your yeah. your legs are moving, they're ready to go. You know, they're ready to explode out. Your yeah. your energy's going. You're ready to just jump. Whereas if you're just flat footed, you're a little slower to move. Right. That, that's yeah. that's more the concept. Um, <clears throat> but now we're back to where we left off when we sidetracked. All right. So this this is a part where so many people mess up, especially in this rank. Mm -hmm. Dude, I just want, it just looks I, my, like you want to thin this wave. You want it, but it's like, why? There's no point. There's literally yeah. thinning this wave, killing one of these minions changes absolutely nothing. Yeah. No matter what, this wave is coming into you. If Nami's with you right here, yeah, you can walk up if you want to and hit a minion once or twice, but still, even if Nami's here, there's no point. Let the wave come into you. Because okay. they have such a big wave, you don't have a very big wave, that a fight for them, they're not afraid of, they're not afraid of your next wave. When, when, the, when they're up here, if you're caught out hitting a minion up here, Rakan gets a W on you, you're dead. There's no yeah. point with, with risking it. It's going to come to you no matter what. You're not going to miss the CS. Just stay in XP range for the one minion that you might miss or two. Just let it come to you. Just stay safe. This is where you want to be as safe as you can. Because <laughs> they... It's like where I'm most vulnerable, basically. Yeah. Because like, I don't have Nami, and then like their their champions are just like looking to... to let, let me, let me put it this way. Or what? If they have a Thresh or a Blitzcrank, are you yeah. ever going to walk up to hit a minion down here? No, no. Why? Because they hook you and you're fucked. Yeah. Rakan is the same thing. Okay. He's a he Rakan just is the hook, right? He's the projectile yeah. that's going to come at you at W, you knock you up. It's the same thing. You just feel safer because you feel like... He's melee. <laughs> yeah, he's melee. He doesn't have the hook, but he basically yeah. still does. You know, it, like, yeah. it doesn't pull you in, but it's, yeah. it's, it's, if there's ever kill pressure, just don't. Don't contest it. You don't need to. Okay. And even if this wave is like slow pushing to them, in like, all right, let's say just to cover this, let's say right now you're alone coming to lane, right? Or you're walking from base. I'll, I'll even back up here. You're leaving base, and let's say bottom lane is slow pushing into the enemy team, right? And you're not yeah. going to have Nami, you know this. <coughs> We're not going to even go bottom here. No. Because either way, it's just going to get pushed in their tower, and it's going to reset, and you're not going to get any of those minions. So instead of just running straight to bottom lane, consider, okay, we can just stop by mid lane real quick. Just hover in the area like I talked about earlier, right? Hover in the area. Just while you're walking to bottom lane, since you have so much time, because it's going to be pushing them anyways, you know this. Just hover, path through mid, like down, down this way, you know, into the river right here. And now, if, if by the time you've reached this point, there's a fight up here, or a fight even up here for the scuttle top side. You can move to it, and if their bottom lane sees you, and you get like a kill and an assist, good. You just got a kill for free, right? And now yeah. their bottom lane stuck, bottom lane just freezing on you, still denying you. It doesn't still doesn't feel great, but you made up for it. And now you could even just say, "I don't give a fuck about bottom lane." <clears throat> if you kill their Corky, you just push the mid tower now. And then Nico's going to reset, and then when she resets, you're just going to go back to bottom lane now. And by that time, Nami is also coming down with you. So that's that's something to look for, right? If if you look at the bottom wave and you see it's getting slow pushed into the enemy team, because if it is, you're not going to come to lane and come up into this area, right? If it was slow pushed, you're not walking yeah. up here. You're going to die to Rakan, 100%. Same concept. So, okay, we might as well just use our... our, our uh, our intermi our, sure. a, a little intermission in the mid lane because we're screwed on CS bottom lane. Let's make up for it. Let's let's look for something. And it's not always going to work out. And if it you go mid, it doesn't work out. You don't spend 30 seconds mid waiting for a gank. You're just passing by. And if something happens, great. If nothing happens, you just go back to bottom and wait it out. Okay. 
Yeah. Also, also this season, uh, really focusing on uh, uh, clicking, like right next to my character. So I can always, like, that's yeah, that's good. I do, I do notice your your mouse click. Your clicking's good. Like how close you're clicking is actually really good. Yeah, this this camera room, I don't thing. even see them at all. And then one thing, you know, again, if we just want to talk about things like uh, staying on your toes type thing, instead of whenever you're clicking a minion and you're like clicking over here or something or up here, right, just one time before you go to the next one, yeah. do what you just did right there. Always be clicking like side, 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 you know, like just mm -hmm. move a ton. Always be clicking. You're never not clicking. That is also a good way to get yeah, your uh, I'm mechanics. I'm getting wrist problems. <laughs> So I, 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 I <laughs> Me too, dude. Guy. Welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, uh, my wrist started hurting, so I, I bumped up my DPI from 1,000 to 1,400. Mm -hmm. It helped out a lot. Just That's like, actually what I use, 1,400. Yeah. Oh. I used to use 1,600, and I think I should have left it at that. <laughs> but, and yeah, then like, obviously... Once my wrist starts hurting, then I just stopped playing. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's not a bad idea. I just stretch my wrist a ton. Like a fucking ton. Uh, like I, I get see this this Nami, th yeah. realize this is exactly what you did at level one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this should have been you at level one, just dead right now. And this is actually yeah. so bad of Nami because the way this wave, you guys have such a big wave, right? Let's just recognize this wave's so big, it's slow pushing. Sat on the Nami wave and, and then... you can just sit up here and just poke them. Mm -hmm. Don't stand like on top of each other just in case Rakan does get a W off, and it, it's just so it doesn't hit both of you guys, you know, just in case. But you guys should still rel relatively be up in this area, right? Like, just hovering. Yeah. Because then you're away from the bush. Because obviously, like, you'd be like, hey, let's ward this bush. Well, you can't because if you get into ward range, that's into his W range. So we, that's not worth it. Mm -hmm. We wait until we can just be up here farming this wave out, pushing, like, letting it slow push, zoning them. And then once it passes this bush, now if it's going to bounce back to us, that's when we ward here because then Rakan's going to be back in that bush. Okay. And also realize that if you are going to be pushing like past the turret, there's no point wasting your ward in this push because if if you're pushing past you're it, there. No, sir. Yeah, exactly. And you shouldn't be going by this push anyways until it's already past that push. You got good return damage off. Realize you can't chase it anymore. That's good. We're still fine to farm though because you know as long as you're Jesus. confident that you can dodge Con's W with your E speed, which you can easily if you just react, um, yeah. you're still pretty safe. Obviously, until I think you saw Sedge or something. Someone's bamping. Yeah, Sedge was up there. Yeah, exactly. Sedge was up in uh, the river right now. So this is when we kind of had to back off. This is still a fine area to be in. Just hover right here for XP. Yeah. exactly what you need to be doing. And then we're at this point, at this point, you're, you're like staring at your map, right? Like, yeah. see, this, this camera's kind of okay, but I would just have it a little bit up more because you knew Sedge was going to be coming downside. So, like, just so that this bush is in the top, like, corner of your screen. So then you can see her on the map, you can see her on your screen as well if she pops yeah, up. Right there, then you're just my, my eyes, see if Sedge was moving up or down. Mm -hmm. But yeah, exactly. And, and then at yeah. this point, regardless, even, even despite your camera, I'm just, I'm just nitpicking at the camera just to give you an idea yeah. of like why I'm thinking Perfect your camera needs, needs some help. But Because yeah. either way, you're going to be kind of staring at the map, looking for Sedge wanting to pop up. And as soon as she shows up here, she's, you see her running up this way, you can walk up and, and like auto, auto, queue, so they all die, right? And then, yeah. and then they just push the tower, hopefully they might still catch it but then you got the three minions and you can back off now or back up and right since since at that point after this now there, you weren't i don't know is retarded for doing that by the way i hope you see this how bad that yeah i know, you, I know. dude she could have frozen it right here uh, and you would be able to that. and this would be a time see There's see what's wrong. going on yeah exactly you would have be able to do nothing over here there's already stuff going down up here but even if sejuani wasn't like on the map right here you said your twitch is in this area you just walk up to to be with him so if something does happen at that area, you're already there. And then they're down here, freezing the wave. Feels bad for them. And I think we do maybe start to walk up? No, I don't think so. I think yeah. I was saying go up, yeah. Because, right, you should... <sighs> maybe we don't. Okay, they still got the kill. It's fine. And you guys are just pulling the back up. I, I, thankfully, there's Zaya just shoved that out on you, though. That was pretty yeah. fucking... She did me a solid for there. All right, and then they're right here. This is... Actually, yeah, okay, I, let's I just ping. All right, yeah. pinged, this is pushing. Uh, this... I ping that little area right above red, and then just mm -hmm. ping like missing. Okay. And How do you think this wave is gonna go right now? If if no one touches it, uh, I think it goes into them. It's like isn't it no. based off like, your level? 
It does. Oh no, no, no. That 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 that's not a. That's not relevant until there's like a huge lead. Oh, huge lead. Okay. Um, until you're like your team is winning, then map sighting oh, kind right. of is. But I would try to like ignore that stuff anyways right now and just play as if that stuff doesn't exist because generally you will. It's gonna push into you because these three minions are already so close together, right? That these three are all instantly aggroing this one, and then these two are gonna be spreading out, and their their aggro is gonna spread on minions. That's why, um, basically, the 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 wave that crashes first is like always gonna slow push, assuming that both waves are full HP. So this, if we don't touch it, if we just last hit perfectly, right, last hitting at the very last second, this will come into us. So because we know, I think, am I am I thinking the wrong time? No, okay, they are pretty low, right? Yeah, Rakan's really low. So, obviously, now when Nami gets back to lane, they can't do anything, right? Zaya shouldn't yeah. do this, but she did, so we're going to take advantage of it. And now, we don't know if they're resetting or not, if they want to reset or not yet. They probably won't, because obviously that you could just shove it in super quick. So, we just freeze it. We don't need to be hitting these. Because we, we, we let them stay in the fog of war for, like, 10 seconds. 10 to 15 seconds. If by the time, like, two minions die, they haven't come out yet, that's when you can assume, okay, they reset, right? And 10 seconds yeah. is, is about the the right time, give or take, because by within 10 seconds, they, they've recalled or not. So that's Sometimes like... they they bait, bait uh, recall? Yeah, th then that was a good play by them. But either way, you want to assume that they did. Yeah. Because if you don't assume they did, and you just keep it right here, uh, then they're going to come to lane, and it's just going to be... Like, right. they're, they're going to come to lane with a reset, and then have you up here, which just means that they can shove, and have priority, and do something else at that point. Because at that, at that point, you're, you're actually worried about um, Rakan being able to realm. But I, I don't think you need to worry too much about that. It's more the fact that you want to think about denying them, right? Because if, if they do show again, then we're ready for it to come back into us. They haven't reset yet. Rakan's too low. So now we can just freeze it up here until they reset. Because Rakan is too low to engage anyways. So since Rakan can't engage and Rakan doesn't have any pressure, you and Nami can just stand up on the wave up here and just zone the fuck out of sight, right? Yeah. And then if they do walk too far up, or if Twitch is on this on bottom side and they walk too far up, He's, then they die. Then, then they're die. they die, yeah. It just takes one bubble at that point for them to die. <clears throat> but see that you, you auto-attack those first two minions so quickly without like really even debating that, that it's already pushing back yeah. to them, that they don't have to reset. I think Rakan did. No, never mind. Rakan didn't even... Wow. <sighs> And then obviously if they didn't show within two seconds, you're just shoving it. But so then at this point, th this is where we don't want the lane without without a ward and try bush at all. Like this is this is risky because now Sedge can come from behind us. We don't have time to react. She stuns. Rakan follows up. So at this point, we can either as soon as this wave dies, as soon as you clear this out, probably just dip on it since these three caster minions aren't going to kill this wave and it's going to be stuck here anyways. Just dip on the wave, go up, and just just hopefully you were said you were Nami have a word for Tribush, right? Yeah. And it might even be worth it to drop your pink in it at that point if neither of you have wards, because better safe than sorry. At least if you spend the seventy five gold to see Sejuani, yeah, she clears it, but, but you don't. I don't, know. I don't yeah, die, right? you, you save three hundred gold on that one of them, right? Luckily, we haven't got ganked yet, and we were able to crash it, and now we can just go ward safely anyways. It's not me. Had a nice look. See, and Sedge was in bottom side, too. I don't know why she didn't go bottom there. That was that would have been really good of her to just go bot, because she was actually in her bottom side. And this is good, they still haven't backed yet, Rakan's still low, so we can just freeze on them like we're doing, let it come into us. And it, it's just really important that you, you try at all times to kind of like look for this kind of wave manipulation. You know, it's different depending on matchups, obviously, and you, that, that comes with playing them all and learning them and just experiencing what each matchup's able to do. But obviously, you can kind of like judge it. The reason we're playing it this way right on them is because they can kill us. Like, with any engage, if we get engaged on, they can kill us. Like, right here, he's actually going to go on Nami. I think she dies, right? Maybe she lives. Yeah. Oh, she dies. Yeah. Right? Exactly. That's all it took. And, she, and he was already low, but he hit six. So that's why we're playing up here. Because, yeah, this still happened, but imagine we're, we're like, shoving in and playing down here. If, the, if, if this same thing happens, there's no chance of getting out. 
Because yeah. they have so much land to play by. So, like, this would be the same concept against, like, Thresh, and Nautilus, and Alistair, right? You'd want to play the safe as possible. Like, if you're Nami Kaisa, though, let's let's say that that uh that instead that Rakan was maybe... Like... Ha, oh, who am I trying to think of? Like, oh, Zyra. Zyra. Someone who, when she... Like, even if Zyra's low on HP, or a Vel'Koz, even if they're low on HP... They're able to do things from out of your range, right? Like she just summons yeah. plants to like, oh, you, so oh, we're trying to freeze up here against Zyra of Elkaz. Doesn't matter. They just walk up here, drop plants with their AD carry, and their AD carry is just gonna walk up and shove it with that plant pressure. Or Vel'Koz is gonna throw your Q at you, W's, and he's gonna help push the wave out. So a freeze isn't gonna work anyways, right? Because Vel'Koz's W will just in the wave out. AD carry last hits it. So in that case, hey, this isn't this isn't a viable strat. So at, the, at that point, if if it's them, you're you're just looking to constantly be shoving in on them, right? And uh, Hopefully you have a jungler that can dive them, or your mid laner can dive them, or you just continuously have bottom pressure at that point that uh, you, you just always have a prior priority that you can just go up all the time, right? That's where I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Okay, you shove them in. The Vel causes 200 HP. You shove them in. They're not healthy enough to follow you, so okay, we can just go up here, <clears throat> um, get vision down in the jungle. Like we could at that point get vision, walk up here, get vision over here in this bush down here. Or we can get vision up here, just depending on who their jungler is, right? What their gank route would be. Do they have dashes over walls? Do they have good engage? Or and then on the way, hey, we're right here warding. Corky might be up here, free gank, right? Might as well yeah. just try for it. That that's kind of a rotation I'm talking about. Or take scuttle if it's up. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. If your jungler's on, and, and if he's bottom side, if your jungler's also bottom side, going for that scuttle. Then you're just giving him defense for the enemy jungler if they contest it. Then the enemy jungler just has no chance to contest it. And if they do, you're in there that position to just fucking kill him. Yeah. So that's why that that that's like think about that all the time with other matchups, right? Like, hey, if 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 I freeze this, is it actually going to work? Like, can they just clear it? Can they still pressure me? Or if I push them in, are they going to be able to kill me? Because. <clears throat> You know, e even if you feel safe against an Alistair being up here, like at some point he gets his flash up and he can just engage when the jungler is near, right? If the jungler is just sitting by Krugs, Alistair has flash up, he just flash engages, jungler falls up, AD carry falls up. Uh, you just want me here to like keep on watching what happens? Yeah. Okay, I, yeah, I mean, you, you know Nico's down here, and especially when you see that ult trigger, you should be like, I mean, you, you don't need to be looking at these minions to kill him. Hmm. Like, just, just, oh, okay, this is good, move camera right away. Don't move it back. Okay. Should still be looking at her right now. Like we don't need, yeah. we don't care about this right now. We're just leaving Nico to die right now. And then, <laughs> like we should already be like hovering over here, right? Just hovering. Yeah. And then this ulti is so ballsy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I mean, they're they're like oom and low, thankfully, but still so ballsy. Like I, I would have just ulted like right here, uh, and just went just went for the Sejuani, because because when you don't have vision, it's just it's just so risky. It worked out. Granted, if you did this knowing that they would have absolutely no way to kill you, then that was a oh, good yeah. ulti, to be honest. Like, really, really good ulti. But if you yeah, just cause... did it because you're like, ulti, and you didn't really think about it, then that was pretty, uh, uh, yeah, yikes. <laughs> because the reason I'm saying that is because, okay, Corky's in mid lane. Like, when you're doing this, you're looking at the map. Okay, Corky has mid priority right now. Because yeah. Nico and, and old Nico's already here, but Corky's leaving mid now, right? You don't see him yeah. still. He's leaving mid. So if you put yourself too far in and he shows up, you might be fucked. You might get two kills, but you're still gonna die. Yeah. And at that point, getting one kill and living is is more worth. Because then you're still gonna be able to catch them anyway. <laughs> Luckily, Corky's stupid and he just shows back up mid lane. So. That's cool. You tell me the hard shove. Yep, because we just want to reset now, right? <laughs> That's pretty basic. Don't grieve for tower plating because we just need to get back. And it's always important to get back to lane at the same time or just a little bit after them if they've reset first. You never want to let them get wave priority before you get back to lane if you can avoid it, right? So like getting tower or hitting the tower plating all the way right there, now you'd be back to lane 10 seconds later. She's already pushed to your tower. She's already got priority for something else. And, and you potentially miss a few minions to your tower, which you just can avoid if you just reset ASAP. Yeah. And then also on top of that is, at this point, you're really strong. You have a fucking Storm Razor. You want the wave up here because they can never engage on you up here. And if they do walk up here, 
now you guys have the, the chance to just harass them, right? You're strong enough yeah. now that, like, Rakan can't just engage on you retardedly. And you have enough abilities. You have Flash. You have your E. You're going to have your ulti 30 seconds. You have the abilities to, like, dodge and outplay them and not die. It's kind of on Nami question. to not die. Uh, I have a question. So you're, t you're telling me uh, it's, it's good to, like, back and then be there like, a couple seconds before or at the exact same time as the wave, right? I guess in these not the wave. Not, like... not the wave. Well, I guess kind or, of the wave. Well, it, it, the right, enemies, so right? So, like, so let's yeah. say at level one, when when you get kills and it's like a a five second death timer or something, right? Like yeah. you can't always reset because you can't shove the wave fast enough if it's slow pushing. Yeah. So sometimes yeah. actually fighting level one can can be pretty bad for you because if you can't push to the tower and it's already slow pushing, if you can't crash into the tower before they get back yeah. to lane, you're gonna end up missing stuff on the way back because yeah. you still so have like, to recall. There's there's a okay. So like let's say uh, I get these couple of situations where like uh so like let's say there's three more minions, right? Um, to just reset it so it comes out back to even, right? And then I know that the 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 Zaya, let's say she's at her first like her, her in the tower, right? So she's on the way there. Mm -hmm. It's like I know I want to recall to uh to to match like the same timings, but like is it okay if I prioritize just resetting the wave? And even though I get there like much later, but I at least reset the wave. Okay, so say the beginning. Like, how how is the wave set up when so you're doing like, this? Let's say let's say like uh uh okay, I'm where Zaya is, right? And there's only yeah, three okay. minions minions back. So let's say I killed Zaya. Only I three killed, minions back? Like like three caster minions, right? Okay, only three minions back. I, no, I have no mana, so I like yeah, it was it's gonna take like at least like eight to nine seconds to kill them all, right? Sure. Um and she and then like the, the enemies uh at the at the uh, red tower of in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, tower. okay. I see what you're saying. So, so like, so like, do, do I, I? Most of the time, I go for killing the minions, but I'll be behind to match, or do I just like recall and just try to match at the same time? So this depends, and this is yeah. actually situation. So this is actually a pretty good question. Um, so you're because saying I get into the situation I'll, a lot. I'll just, I'll just uh, draw it out. Just draw so it out. for the sake of just the way the camera is, let's just pretend yeah. that you're, you are the Zaya, and yeah, so let's say that there's just three caster minions up here, and you're like up here, right? You're yeah, up here. I, just... to, like, I use my <clears throat> to kill them, and then like I'm just trying. And to, like, we're assuming you're not it. strong enough to like push them fast enough. So yeah, you're saying it's like early levels. So basically, by the time you kill this and start recalling, she's in lane. Like she's hitting lane by the time you have or just she's finished. Your like recall a second tier tower. Like, like, okay. She's like second like as you as, as you finish your recall. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So you finish your recall. All right. Okay. So either way, either way, she's gonna be in lane, and you're saying she's gonna be able to push it back. She Is it worth to have it reset and let her start pushing into you? Or is it worth it to just reset and come back to lane and match her? Yeah. As fast as possible. Yeah. <sighs> I get into that situation a lot. So, okay. Well, first off, the, the, the first thing that matters is are you going to get ganked doing it? Mm -hmm. If it's going to take you seven seconds to, to do this and you don't have any vision in, in the river or like any in yeah. this whole top side, everything out of the lane is like black for you, dark for you, you can't see. You're gonna have to yeah, back up because it's not worth it's, it's not worth giving their yeah. jungler a kill for this three yeah. gold. Most of the times, like I know, I'm 100 percent safe. Like I'm 100 okay. percent safe, but I'm in this situation where, hey, do I go for these three minions? Is it gonna take me yeah, a while to kill then, it, or do I, or do I prioritize matching at the same time? And I lose, I lose the wave yeah, just so because she gets back earlier. This, the next thing, aside from vision, obviously, because you yeah. don't want to die to a gank, would be, do you have the ability to come back to lane? And if it's frozen here, can you just shove it out? Yeah. Or okay. if it gets frozen here, are you going to be completely fucked? Okay. Like if they freeze it here, are are they are like let's say they're they're Thresh, Zaya, and your Kaisa Nami, right? Yeah. If they freeze it here, if they're able to get a freeze here, yeah, you're done. not going to walk up because because yeah. Thresh already has push control. You can't walk mm -hmm. up to it or you're dead. If they know how to freeze, yeah. In that case, okay, well then then we kind of, we feel like we have to we have to shove it. Yeah. But okay. if if you think, all right, well, if you think you're 100% safe, push it out. Just reset it. It's worth it because right. it's worth it then that you miss the few CS, you come back to lane, you cut your losses, but you're in control of the lane then, and you're not screwed. Because if you just leave it then at that point, and you're just going to get frozen on, yeah, then you're going to miss a whole lot more than those three right here, right? Okay. Or if you die, you're going to lose a whole lot more gold. But um, if... If you're in a position to just be able to come back to lane and shove it out, right? If you're, if you are the fuck, who's got really good wave clear, I'm trying to think, or like zone, 
Right, like if you have, Sivir. as we said, okay, Sivir or Zyra with like an aggressive support who can range mm -hmm. poke, right, or like Zvelkaz or uh, uh, Karma, right, she can mm -hmm. key with wave two. Then at that point, it's like, all right, well, you know, if they don't have the kill potential on us, if, if they're like a Sona or a Janna, right, then all right, we don't give a fuck. They're not going to be able to freeze that on us. Let's just let it, let's let them freeze right here. We'll reset, come back to lane, and come in. Um, but if you're going to get ganked ever, you just have to reset. If you, if you don't feel 100% safer, if you don't know where they are, that you think they're going to be bottom side, you have to back. It's never worth the risk. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, I only do it like if I, if I know I'm not going to die. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just more of like, uh, uh, do I prioritize the, the resetting the, the, the lane or do I prioritize the coming at the same time? Yeah, it just it's really uh, situational. Yeah. Just situational. Because yeah. okay, well okay, well let's play the let's play the the uh, the timeout where we say okay, there's the three minions. You're gonna get frozen on. There's gonna be a thresh in here, right? And and let's say you you have a ward down here or something, and you saw their jungler coming to you, so you had to back up, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's let's go for this. So no matter what, it's gonna be frozen on you here, thresh in the bush, right? Bad bad situation for us. Th this is what's gonna happen. If this happens. We're going to go mid. <laughs> we're we're going to yeah. make a play happen mid. We're going to go mid. We're going to shove out the wave mid, potentially uh, look for a kill. Or uh, we're going to go do something with our jungler really quickly while they're freezing because we're not going to be doing anything down here anyways. Going, Doing nothing by walking through the jungle and getting vision is better than doing nothing in the lane. Right? Because at least if you're with like your jungler or your support, then you can get some vision down and you can potentially find their jungler and kill them. Um, or if you come back to lane now with the with some vision uh, up here, up here, you can maybe walk up a little safer with your next wave, knowing that their jungler's not there, and now you can start to push the next wave out, right? Really sounds. <laughs> but it, obviously, if it's frozen right here and you don't have any vision in this whole top side still, or this whole uh, the river side still at their side of the jungle, then yeah, yeah, then thresh you, you hit the pressure from thresh is insane. But if you know their jungler's not in the area and they're you're, you're like not already you're not down a BF sword or something right because you killed them yeah. or like equal in damage with them or even maybe ahead, then we can like play with this next wave coming in and walk up, stand up here, and just start to shove out and just be really careful of the thresh and not like not oh not try to be too aggressive in pushing it out, but just be be cautious and just just try to fix the wave our best we can at that point. Um, but my my advice at that point, if you have to get fucked over in the wave like that, let it happen. Still better than not dying because it, it, let's if you're like that, the jungle's gonna kill you. It's still gonna be frozen anyways because you didn't push yeah. it out before the jungler killed you. So yeah. sure. just try to make something right. That that's again just path through mid lane. Try to make something happen. If nothing happens. Feels bad because your losses, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to see that uh, you can generally make quite a few things happen. Or, you know, may maybe if it, both mid laners are like kind of low on HP, you can just tell your mid laner, hey, you can recall and I'm going to push this wave out for you. Or I'll help you push this wave out for you and then you get reset off. And then your mid laner's happy because he gets to reset. Their mid laner doesn't get to reset because he's stuck. And then while your mid laner's resetting, you're just holding mid down. Maybe, maybe, uh, per who? Oh, your mid laner? Yeah, like he gets back first, and then he gets the yeah, and and then the because they're freezing, we don't care how much time we spend mid at that point, right? If our mid laner, let's yeah. say Nico goes back, and we're like, okay, well, uh, while you're backing, we're just gonna shove this next wave out. We're gonna make it so their mid laner, who's also low on mana and like maybe half HP, doesn't get to reset by the time you're back to lane. And now, yeah, you're gonna fuck on him in mid lane. Like yeah. no matter what, she's gonna destroy him now. Like he doesn't get the back. He either has to cut his losses and back, and then come. Uh, back to lane behind, lose tower damage, lose platings, and if he does opt to back while you're mid, you just get to push mid tower and get tower platings. And then if they still haven't broken the freeze to try to make you miss stuff, uh, after mid lane comes back, then you just go back down bottom lane, uh, try to do what we can do from there. But that that would definitely help you out a lot more, and the, <clears throat> um, you won't lose as much being able to go mid. Just never never put yourself in a position where you're gonna have to just sit here down here or like up here doing nothing for like 30, 40 seconds. Because at that point, yeah. just hover somewhere. So if something does happen, you're there for it. And then if nothing happens, all right, great. By the time they push the wave out, now I can just rotate back down. And maybe I miss one minion. We don't care, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> at least we were in position if something happened. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I was just I was just curious because I always prioritize like mm -hmm. you know I'll, I'll be behind like ten seconds but I'm just at least like reset the wave mm -hmm. most of the time like if I'm if I'm like not gonna die for it mm -hmm. yeah it, it just really that's a lot of people don't realize like there's so much like matchup stuff that goes into everything like hey do I push yeah. how do I manage this wave depends on the matchup 
there's not a consistent answer. You can't just always yeah. have the same weight management. It's completely depending on matchups, like almost every game. <sighs> but luckily, Kaisa has a pretty low mana wave clear on her Q. Like her Q's mm -hmm. 55 mana is not bad, and it is insane wave clear if you're using it properly, right? Generally, yeah. what I try to do is hit three minions at most with like half HP on all of them, and then you you pretty much clear it. Just execute them. Mm. Yeah, I mean, once you upgrade your Q, if you're just hitting three minions, you like almost kill them all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> hitting six minions though, that's never worth it. I know that uh, if if you kill like the first minion and then you put them like at seventy percent with the the two melee minions, you just instant kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, at least, this is where you're telling me to to, to freeze and just have it. Mm -hmm. And this is because actually I uh... see this is actually a position where they rotated. Wow, they rotated mid from far away. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because he saw Twitch in their jungle right there. So I, I I'm surprised Zaya goes up here and doesn't just shove that wave out on you. She left such a shit wave for nothing. What? Why? <laughs> I, um, don't be that Zaya. Like, this is such a bad roam from her. Yeah. Like, look yeah. at this. What is going to happen on their... So, actually, something does happen. I forgot. But, like, she wasn't a part of it. Maybe she was. Wow, she actually is. That was completely your team's fault. To be honest, when you see her rotating, though, you should be pinging this. Like, B, 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 B. Like, ping upwards, you know, so it tells them, like, hey, their bot lane's coming. Because just, just help them out. That, that, that is important information for them. Just to know, hey, oh, Zaya's coming. Maybe we can't fight this. And if they still fight it... Fucking unlucky, your teammates retarded. But yeah. normally they they should be backing off from it. And then Zaya's roam does nothing for her. And then she left a shit wave. She left such a shit wave, dude, because she misses all of this. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say freeze this is because they're already coming back down. I you're not. Nami, you're not pushing this. Yeah, you don't have exactly. You don't have Nami. They're already coming back down. You're not going to push this to their tower in time before they're down here. That they're going to miss it. And you're actually going to deny them more minions by just sitting right here. Plus, when they come to lane now and they get here. Uh, you're still going to be able to catch minions under tower now, and you're not going to be stuck doing nothing for like 30 seconds. Because this is where, if they freeze it on you because you push it out, you would literally not be able to do anything because your mid laner's dead. Like, yeah, and if you, and if you like show up mid, you already miss half this wave by the time you get there, and then you come back down, you've already missed all this, if not, or half, if not all of this wave by the time you're back. <clears throat> this would be a situation where you'd be forced to do nothing if you fuck that wave up. Because there's nothing to reset for either, right? Yeah. So, like, at that point, you should just always be considering what will happen if you shove, and if you have, like, any answers for them shoving it, or, uh, for shoving it in. Like, in this case, you know, hey, uh, me, like, like, if mid laner's happening, or if Dragon is up, right, then, yeah, we could shove this out really quickly and just rotate up, potentially. Like, if, if your mid laner's alive and stuff's going on, then you could actually shove it in, because you'd have something to do still. But in this case, because your mid laner died, even if you shove this in, you're liter there's nothing you can do, right? You yeah. you can see that. See that. Mm. <clears throat> and see, just look how greedy you are to like walk up and hit, dude. If Rakan, just pretend Rakan has ulti here, or or even not ulti, but flash. Like, all right, you just walked into range. You just walked yeah. into range for what? This wave is coming into hit, you. Yeah. One fourteen gold on this caster minion for three hundred gold. And then if you die, you're also going to miss all of this, right? There's literally yeah. no reason. Don't do it. Just wait for it. And now the wave is finally reset. Twitch is bottom, so we're just going to let the wave keep here. Make that... Act like nothing's happening. And, dude, please, yeah. whenever you're going to get a gank, dude, just act like absolutely nothing is happening. People yeah. who walk up in lane and just, like, give it away, like, out of nowhere, just walk up as if they can win a fight that they haven't been winning already. God, that tilts me so hard, dude. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Oh, like, man. just doing nothing. I used to play mid. Or yeah, to play exactly. Too. And when you, you did so tilted when you're coming in for a perfect gank and then your teammates just scare them off and you're like, dude, I'm literally behind them. Like, why are you doing that? <clears throat> so this is where, okay, we know that we have the ulti mark on Rakan. They're pretty low, right? I mean, Zai's half HP, Rakan's half HP. You're so huge. No, does she? Uh, I don't know if she does or not. 
But yeah. regardless of if she does, yeah. you cannot play it. It's so like here, I I wouldn't use my ulti yet. I would just, but but like okay, let me just go back a little bit. So this is where it gets kind of tricky in terms of like, hey, how do I play this? Okay, Sejuani's way. Sejuani's left you. She's she's said that you're not worth it. Like she's going for yeah. Nami, hundred percent. Nami is her focus. All right, we can hit her. Rakan shows up. Don't ult onto him, but just walk this way. And start hitting Rakan. And then if Sejuani turns on to you, then you can just ult to her. And now you're out. But if at this point, if you start fighting them, and Sejuani keeps going for her, you can probably just kill them. Right? And then as soon as Sejuani shows, or like turns around on you, you're just ulting and you're getting out. All right, let me... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is like but I, I, that, that is like prioritize safety versus like outplayer. Uh, that's like I, that. I'm like the play I'm talking about. Like it's pretty hard to pull off. You know, it's not like just anybody can do it. But like mm -hmm. learning how to make those outplays only comes by trying them. Yeah. Or like learning if you're able to do it. <clears throat> yeah, that, that was like the big thing. It was just like. Like, is it a bad mindset that I, that I prefer to like uh, just uh, be safe than uh, mm -hmm. then this was good you going play. on side is good okay one thing yeah. that's bothering me stop using your W to engage <laughs> yeah use your W like in the middle of the trade or like as execute because you always want to be trying to use it when they have like at least two or three stacks on them because you do know it does right. more damage the more stacks they have right it does? Uh, yeah, it does. It does more I damage just, based on stacks. I thought, I thought it was just like, uh, it gives you two stacks and, and uh, marks. Them. No, it does more damage based on stacks. So like if they're four stacks, it'll do the most damage. But it also does put stacks on, and it can pop your passive too, right? You know that. So. Yeah, yeah. But that. So that's why, like, especially, especially if you have someone with CC, and you can get mm -hmm. your press the attack proc off, and then with the press the w. attack auto, you're casting W, like canceling the auto with the, press, uh, the W, Dude, yeah, that's like that's like four hundred damage, man. It's insane. <clears throat> that was an interesting play, <laughs> but it worked out. Yeah. Going on Zai is really good here, and then okay, she ults, and then we see Corky. Now let, let's just back off, go down, and just get out, save our ulti. <laughs> if people, yeah. if your teammates were like closer, if Nico was like here, then maybe we can look to be a little more aggressive, but. And then, okay, yeah, we don't want to stay. I thought they were fighting, and yeah. I just didn't, like, see, because I didn't pan over my camera. Uh, and we don't want to stay here. We're too low. They can just engage or dive on us, and Dragon's coming up, so we want to reset before that Dragon's up, so then we can actually be able to contest that Dragon. <clears throat> Potentially. Like we do. Right? If we didn't recall before this, we would... Yeah, we might have saved Tower. Oh, no, because we would have died. Such would have just stove us. But we could pretend we might have saved Tower, but this yeah. fight would not be able to happen. <laughs> and then, like at at this point, see, see this is like just another camera issue. Like, notice, look how far. Okay, you're trying to run right right now, and you're over here, dude. The only amount you can, if you want to run up here, the only area you have to click is like this this area. Mm -hmm. So like, just you, you just gotta get in the habit of being able, like at this point, spacebar, reset your camera, do whatever. Like to be honest, I don't hit spacebar. I actually I'm weird. I double tap Y, which is like the lock camera button. I, oh, that's what I do. I yeah. use Y. I've always uh, done space that. Bar? Space bars for an item. I'm, like instead of seven, it's space bar. Oh really? Yeah, because it's just. Uh, I just uh, for some reason yeah. I just can't do the space bar. I've just always done the double tap Y. So like, re reset your camera here and be ready to move that way. Yeah, I can't uh, reach seven comfortably. So I just instead of seven, True. I have space bar. Well, I just use. I mean, I just never put items on seven. <laughs> I just uh, move, put them on two or three every time. Yeah, and then I One, have two, like, and three. Uh, instead of six, but key binds are six, yeah. personal preference all the way. I don't have one. I just have one and uh, one and six as like my mouse buttons. Oh, okay. Two and three for uh, items. I fast forward too many times. <laughs> really? Personally, yeah, I, I think mouse keys uh, for items. I guess they're not a big deal. They're pretty good. That's yeah. That's fine. But like for a uh, like using Bork, I would hate to see 
a Bork on a mouse key. I feel like it would mess you uh, up. Bork, I always put on spacebar. Yeah, that's All better. Right. So it's like three that's three better. Three. But all right, we're going top because we just got this dragon. We want to fight. This let let Darius clear this bottom wave before he recalls. Right, he's going to do that. So yeah. we're just going to go catch this top wave. And we realize in this point, a lot of people. And, you know, sometimes I'll autopilot it too and do this. It's, it's a really easy mistake. We just shove this out because we feel like, oh, we'll just shove this out and then go put pressure somewhere else, right? But, like, every, Darius is resetting. Nami's going to reset. Nico's half HP. No objectives are up. Why would we push this out, right? Let's just shove this. Yeah. Let's just keep it here. We can safe. We can safely farm right here. Just keep freezing mm -hmm. it. If somebody else comes, um, we can just outplay them. We can just not die. But if we, you know, if we push up to, like, up here, now we're putting ourselves in a risky spot. We don't still have vision or anything. And we can't farm in this area anyways, so we just want to keep it right here. Uh, whoops. So this is good. And then obviously Riven comes and we kind of outplay her. Which would be the exact reason why, because I bet she was sitting in this bush for quite some time, that if you ever pushed up a little more, she would have just been like, she was waiting to just get that lane on you. Because if, you if you had any more, like if you're down here, she can kill you, you know? Yeah. <sighs> Controlled there. Huh? I would say be a, keep in mind since you don't know if people are in that bush, try to stand away from it a little more. But yeah. we see that. That was good. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. Uh, I'm just giving you the, what I how I feel about these fights. I think the best thing to do when you get engaged on instead of instantly worrying about ulti right now, if you only have level one or you're not upgraded E, yeah, ulti away. But because you have the stealth, first before you're gonna ulti auto her E reposition. And then now, you, if she's still going to pursue onto you, you can outplay her by shielding uh, her ulti damage or dodging under your tower with uh, your ulti. And then, like yeah. your ulti should be your your backup. Uh, last last resort. <laughs> yeah, your backup reposition. Whereas your E is like your primary because uh, obviously it's lower cooldown and ulti is just a more important ability. And your E probably just honestly better at uh, like juking people than your ulti since stealth is broken. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I remember when red, pink boards used to be so good. Now, yeah, XT. Oh, remember like the, the like there was Vayne, and then just like everyone just buy one pink board and we're good. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> well, With any stealth champion, Akali buy pinks. Yeah, it is. And now you just well, what's funny to think about it is, uh, people would never buy pinks still. It yeah. took a long time, and now everybody wishes they could fucking buy pinks, even though they probably yeah. still wouldn't. Interesting uh, Nami yeah, ulti there. Yeah, I think the rest of the game is... There's a lot left, pretty but just... it's still pretty clean. For the most part, it's just good macro around the map. Um, Actually, I have more. Yeah, okay, we gotta get a lot more. And then this is... Uh, so this is pretty good Baron, because you guys have the pick. Just be sure, because you see Nico down there, right? Mm -hmm. Unless Baron is like 2k HP, you're gonna be looking to turn. So like... Again, you don't need your camera on this Baron right now. We don't right. need to be looking at this Baron. We need to be looking at this Nico because we need to know if we're going to turn or not. We don't right. need to be looking at this Baron's HP bar. It doesn't apply to us like at all, right? Mm -hmm. So we should just be looking at Nico and being like, okay, our, like planning out already how we're going to like. So we're, we already know we're, how we're going to play the fight, right? If you're if you're already looking at it, you see what your options are. You see has Sejuani use her ulti? Has someone engaged on Nico already? Or do I need to be? Is there a movement ability that I need to still be aware of, right? Because yeah. if Sejuani's already ulted, now you have a lot more options. Or then if you da dash in and she just ults you, and now you're just fucked. <clears throat> Oh, terms I, of this, I I, I would just say is, uh, because funny. this because you guys have no vision on this side, I would I would say you don't need to go over this wall, but you should be looking to path upwards because that's the safest route. Because uh, there's no one. I mean, you have a vision vision up here. Does no one come from up there? You don't know if people are below you. Just go always path towards the lit up area when you're trying to get away. Yeah. I I just felt like I was safest like running right my teammates, but they're all dead yeah. now too. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, all of them, uh, they should have also went up, like these two. Everybody should have went up after that Baron. Because there's no there's no choke in that area from your side of the map. And then, and then yeah, uh, if you, just because you have Storm Razor, I would have uh, went Rune Ins here or Phantom Dancer if you feel the need for Phantom Dancer. You can even go Rapid Fire Cannon if you feel like that'd be better for you. Yeah. 
kind of just autopiloted that. Let's see. Yeah, no worries. Uh, let's see what's going on. All right, we just got Baron. Oh, we still have two Barons. They're fighting bot, so we're just gonna group with them. This is good. So this was this was really good that you just instantly went th went here, because a lot of people would have been like, "Oh, I need to go through this midway first, but you don't really because you already know that your team's gonna be done here, so they have to answer your team. Otherwise, you guys just push the inhib. So yeah. this was really good. I, I I'm actually like I hope I, I want you to understand that this is really really like really fucking good, dude. This yeah. is exactly what the like hovering is, right? If you get if you reach this point right here, and this doesn't happen, okay. Well, now we can just go back to mid. But if we're already mid for something we don't need to be pushing in right now, then if this happens, now we're just not here for it. And now our team can lose it, right? And there's like, there's like a they could throw. Exactly. Yeah, and and they will, dude. It's in solo uh, queue, they will. Com <laughs> competitive uh, might be a different it. answer because you know down yeah. here the enemy would never fight down here in competitive, like a really high in elo environment, yeah. and you probably would be mid lane anyways because this shit wouldn't happen, and your teammates would be split up, and dragons coming up. So like, there's so much more things to do, yeah. but it's solo queue, and we got to realize. My team's gonna fucking try to fight whenever they can. Yeah. Like, dude, they yeah. always will. So we need yeah. to be in position. That's why, like, the rotating in, in landing phase and stuff and just hovering in mid, like, hovering around here for something to have mid, dude, it happens so much. Like, so much, dude. People don't give a fuck if the bot lane is missing. They're like, oh, bot lane's missing? Good time to go in. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I always felt, I, like, I had the question too, it was like, uh, was it following up teammates versus choosing what it feels correct? Like I always feel uh, like that's gotta be I on you. Like, like if if yeah. you're in this position right here, and this yeah. fight has like, let's say, these two already die, like they get insta gibbed. All right, well now we're not gonna keep going in. Yeah. Just, and if yeah, and if you like, see these two going in, you're not following them in at that point. They're fucking dead. Yeah. And like like granted, if these two are like one HP, you could go in. But like right, I'm assuming they're full HP. These two just mm -hmm. got bursted, and now it's five v three, and you know it. All right, we're just gonna dip and go mid, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> just, right? yeah, just cut your losses. If you don't go mid here and they get the kills and you try to fight and they get all the kills, look at the mid and top waves. They're yeah. gonna get both the towers now and probably an inner tower too. But if if you see this fight happening and it's going badly and you know it's gonna end bad, uh, and you make the judgment call to go mid, shove this out, run top, shove this out. Now the enemy team gets max one tower. And it's totally fine, right? Like that's not a big deal now. Now, now all right, at least I and you got a lot of farm for it. You're over level now, and your teammates are dead, so you have nothing else to do. You just got your gold. You, so we would go clear mid. We'd go clear top, make it so they can't. They don't have waves to push or a big wave to push an inner turret if they decide to right. Because now if we kill this, they have to wait for the next wave. Which by that time they kill this, they'll, they'll probably get it. But like, they're only gonna get that one by the time your team's alive now. <laughs> that's true. And then after you clear the waves. You're just going to go into your jungle and farm the camps because you have nothing else to do. And we're going to get gold. And if your jungler gets tilted at you, uh, fuck him. <laughs> they shouldn't because there's nothing else for you to do and they're probably not going to be upset. But this was good. And then we get bot. <laughs> Corky's getting mid and Nico's getting dragon. Interesting. So if you had Baron buff right now, I would say recall, but since you don't, it's fine to just flank him. Otherwise, just recalling would have been faster. But now it's, it, flanking's good if you don't have it, right? Because now, yeah. by the time you recall in 8 seconds, you're going to be here. Like, it is about 8 seconds. You're, you're here now. You're ready to follow up. <laughs> you don't need to chase him. He's already got three people chasing him. We're just going to shove up mid. But again, this is another case of you're in position for if Corky just ran down this way. You'd be here for Corky, right? You'd be able to come yeah. up and kill him. <laughs> and then, okay, so like this is another time, right? Okay, we see this fight happening. Our eyes should just be on this whole time. Is for me, uh, the thing is like if she I, dies, she dies. Like I'm gonna let her die. Well, I mean, Close but you, the problem is, you see two people, you see one person. There's no follow up for that set. She's just going on her. It's like, it, it, if anything, it's a 2v2. And, and Cork is actually top still. So it's it's a 1v1 up here. So, like, you should yeah. not be pathing up here just in case, you know, Rakan and Zaya can somehow make it up here and you guys are stuck. But 
at least just okay, give her some backup and just come up here and like, hey, Nico, I'm here for you. You know, like if she keeps chasing, we can just damage her. But because <clears throat> again, like we're not doing anything by hovering mid right there, right? If we're up here, we're not we're not doing any nothing changes except for we're in a better position for if something does break out, right? Like this fight. If we were a little bit further up, if, if a fight broke out, we if if you're down here, if this fight breaks out and you're down here, like let's just say it's an even team fight, just for the sake of it, for example, you're not doing anything. You're not going to do anything because you're not going to get into this fight from down here. Because if you run up from down here, anybody on their team comes from this bush and kills you or like pinches you like this, right? And you're fucked. So that's why just hovering up here before anything happens is good because okay, now a fight breaks out, now we can be in the back line for our team up there. Yeah, I just have this habit with uh, Kaisa, like, they feel like, oh, I could just go farm the minions, just ult him, and then I'm there in the fight. Yeah, but your ulti, I mean, you should think about your ulti as such yeah. an, a, dis like, a dispensable thing. It, it's it's really good at outplaying and, like, baiting people into fighting you longer. But, I like, sometimes, yeah, you do ult in for the engage, and, and it's fine too, but you don't want to always be, because the shield is really, really good. And also, okay, so this is camera again. We see Riven. We should be on Riven instantly. We should instantly be... She's alone back here. We don't... Yeah. We don't... If we don't focus her, she's going to kill us. Yeah. I mean, like, granted, she doesn't hear, but I, a good Riven would fucking destroy you right here. Like, she, you should be seeing Riven and be like, oh, fuck. <clears throat> yeah, I was just trying to run away from the Rakan. And then... Yeah, and then uh, as she's still back here, you should still be on her. You should be chasing her, not these guys. Because she's isolated, she's the easiest to kill right now. Like, okay, but if, if this is like a tank, like a Scion behind you, maybe we can ignore him a little more and go for the Scion who walks up here, right? Yeah. But it's a Riven. We don't, we're don't. we not going to let her just fucking destroy her backline like that. And luckily, she's super weak, and she went Black Cleaver, so uh, he, she's super weak, and she's bad. So we're fine. But a good ribbon would have actually just like one shot two of you right there. And then I think the last fight's coming up, right? A little bit bad movement there, but ultimately this fight was good. Ulti was really good. Just because, okay, this is like part of just, you know, obviously the, the more games you play, the more you get accustomed to it, but you know like you know what Rakan has in his arsenal, right? Like You know yeah. what this champion does. You know what Sejuani does. Sejuani right here, I would say, okay, I'm pretty safe, but I'm going to every time, you know, every time you auto, you're going to be hitting her and backing up still just in case she queues over, right? You're yeah. just, just in case. And same for Rakan, just in case he debuts over. But you, you know that as soon as they see you, they're going to probably try to jump on you. So, like, that's the yeah. thing is AD carry. The most important thing is just being aware of, like, I see three people. I know what all three of them can do. And I know what my threats are. My threat here is pretty much only a recon W. Yeah. Because Sejuani's got someone right in front of her that'll kind of face tank an ulti or a Q. But Rakan can W over right here. Like, he does. and you, But you need to be aware of that. Because, like, Okay, so how do I avoid that? Like, I want to be doing damage to them, but I want to like in the in the in the front of your mind, like, yeah, you're doing damage, but at the front of your mind is Rakan's gonna W me, yeah. Sejuani's gonna Q me, and you know this, and you're being aware of it while you're hitting them, and you're just waiting, you're looking for it. Okay, this is like you're backing up perfectly here. As soon as you see Rakan, you know you sh you should be ready for the Rakan and be backing up instantly. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's like. That's just practice. That's really yeah. is. That's just practice makes perfect of like positioning and awareness of just awareness is the most important thing on AD carry. Just knowing what they can do and just being ready for it. And almost to the point that you're baiting it out, right? Like by baiting it out, I mean like as soon like in this case, the Rakan. If you were Rakan, how would you play this? You would wait for Zaya to auto attack or Zaya. You'd wait for this Kaisa to come into auto range. She's gonna auto. And then she's going to back up, and then she's going to come into auto again. And then because you see her moving to auto again, you know she's going to go for the auto, you're going to W her then. So you kind of can, like, outplay this by, like, okay, well, I, I hit him once, auto, and I'm backing up. And then I'm going to come in again for an auto. 
But as I'm coming in, I'm going to move upwards now. Okay. And and this is because this is what's going to, like, it throws off Rakan, right? He, he thinks your pattern is auto back, auto back. So if we auto one more time and then don't fully go in, but, like, okay, we're, we're anticipating his W. So, okay, auto and I'm moving up. Because now you're out of his W range by going up here, right? Yeah. And if he misses the W on you, he's he's fucking dead. Like you guys, obviously you win this anyways because you guys are really, really, really far ahead at this point. Yeah. But getting hit by this W could throw the game. Like if their team's strong enough to kill you here. <clears throat> Just because you know, like you know what I mean. Like you know the Rakan's gonna go for you. You sh like or and even if he doesn't, you should be thinking. You should be assuming that he is. Like, you should be assuming yeah. that anybody is always going to be using their stuff on you. You are their target until they don't do it. You're Rakan's W target until you see him W someone else. That's the mindset of AD carry. And victory. <coughs> and then I guess uh, just for... I like to do this for like pretty much every... Uh, every first session with someone, I'll go over this. And just for the sake of example... Um, mm -hmm. This is kind of the slow push concept, and I, I could even just look. Actually, maybe I'll just link it to you, like in a timestamp on another video. Yeah. But I'll give you the general rundown. Okay, so like, fucking Nami died. All right. Where, where, do, where is there a point in this game where we get a slow push crashing? I don't. Right here would have been the time. She could have frozen on you. But all right, I don't. I want to try to find a slow push crash. <sighs> The level two one is like there is one, but like it, it's less valuable, just because early game you can't really do the same things with the slow push. All right, all right, all right. Maybe okay. Well, let's just use this. All right, well, let's use this. And we're gonna pretend the enemies are in right and they're healthy. They're like yeah. let's pretend that they are in lane, and they are even with you, right? But they have yeah. this wave crashing, so they obviously can't fight you right now, right? But we're not going under their tower because I and Rakan can W us right in this matchup. Yeah. We cannot do anything under the tower. So if they're in lane, we're pretending, of course, Zaya, Rakan. <clears throat> you gotta use your imagination a bit. Yeah, I gotcha. When we crash this wave, what are we doing? Uh, first, uh, look toward that the the tri bush. Or like, as is there? Do they have a wave or they don't have a wave? No wave. No wave. We're we're no, we're pretending no. we're like. Regardless of if their wave is here or not, they can have yeah. a wave or not. It doesn't matter. We're, this this wave is big, um, and we're crashing this. I'll try to get one plate if I can. But uh, okay, well, let's pretend this tower plating is like full uh, HP. Full, full. Okay, I'd, I'd go instantly toward a uh, tri bush or a seed mountain camp, and then I look if scuttle is available. Okay. And then, and then uh, come back to land after it's reset. Okay. And just. So pretty, mid. pretty. Well, I mean, uh, accurate, but yeah. more, more in depth. Uh, I, I just, uh, I like it. You're, you're not wrong. I don't. You're, you're right, actually. But yeah. there's, there's, there's a lot to it. It sounds like okay. Well, I'll just go ward and then come back. But um, and you know, we can, we can even just say your gold is the same. Mm -hmm. Number one, first of all, our ideal, as you said, well, not as you said, our ideal play here is resetting if we have enough for an item, right? Because this is where we yeah. can just reset and get back to lane. If we reset right as this wave gets to this point, we don't need to we don't need to walk up to the tower to hit or anything. It's just going to waste our time. They're stuck yeah. here. We're resetting as fast as we can because we have enough for an item. If yeah. we don't have enough for an item, let's say you're you're like 50 gold, right? Pretend. And so there's no point in us resetting. Or or all right, if if we're low HP, low mana, even ignoring item, it's a reset too, right? Yeah. If if we need to reset, you reset. <laughs> two. All right. Well, we don't have anything to reset for. We're healthy. We don't have any gold for an item. So number two is getting vision. This is what you said. That that is the yeah. second priority is getting vision, and mm -hmm. that's because we pretty much can't do anything here without vision, anyways. <laughs> and yeah. I would tie just just for the sake of it, I would tie in roaming with vision. Jesus Christ, that was such a bad <laughs> spelling, but no, you know what it is. No, it's roaming. Yeah. Um. Jesus, writing with the mouse, man, it's something. But it's next level, right? This is where, okay, uh, depending on the matchup, depending on where our jungler is, uh, depending on how our mid laner is, we can get a deep reward or not, or we can just ward tri bush, right? Like, let's say our if our twitch is, if we see our twitch is down on this side of the map, we can call for him and we can just rotate into the jungle with him, get a ward like right here, or you know, by the red buff or by their krugs down like this ward bush over by this wall. You know what I'm talking about? The one, yeah. By Krugs, um, 
just those are just pretty good vision because the Krugs bush is good to ward because even if you even if he's not ganking you, you'll see him on Krugs, and that tells your whole team that their jungler's bottom, which is super important because now Darius can kill him one v one top, or Twitch can gank top, or Twitch can invade top side, or mid can make a play because they know they're not going to get ganked, right? Yeah, it so, really releases pressure on the map. Yeah, so vision vision is more people people tend to think like oh vision just tells me if I'm going to get ganked or not. Vision yeah. is so vision is more like information. Yeah, whenever I play top lane, if I uh, well, I don't I don't main top, but just like secondary role. Right. It's just like if I see the jungler like mid or bot, then I just I'm I'm free to like be more free in the lane. If you're in a spot to kill someone, yeah. you kill them. Yeah. And until that point, you can't. So like that's why that's why deep rewards are like wards on if you're mid lane, wards are raptors, or even if you're not mid lane, if you're bottom lane, you have the time to rotate all the way up here for a ward on raptors, right? That's like yeah. a that's what you do if your if your jungler is not in a spot to be able to like invade down here with you, or if your mid laner doesn't have priority, you can just walk up through river, drop a ward like on the raptors area right here. Now you have information for both you, your jungler, and your mid laner if they're getting ganked right there. Because you know if you see them on raptors, they might go bot. You, you can tend generally you can see uh, if you if you see them on raptors, you should be looking at them if they, if you see them move down or up, right? Because that tells yeah. you where they're going. And then <clears throat> just information again. Um, and then I'll, I just tie in Rome with that because if you're already coming up here to like ward, and then you see a, a gank mid, or you know you're invading their jungle with your jungler, like that's part of a roam. So like that, they kind of just go hand in hand. All right, and then three is finally what people tend to think is number one for some reason is the tower plating, right? Because mm -hmm. we cannot get tower plating if we don't have vision. There's no way you never want to be on the tower right here if. You don't know where the enemy jungler is. If you don't know where the enemy mid laner is, because that's the easiest to get ganked on, especially against like a Zyracon or yeah, Zyracon. Like, but yeah. it, maybe if you're if you're Kaisa and you're you have a Zyra, if you're Ash Zyra, you have a really oppressive lane, and the enemy bot lane's like one HP or they're back, then yeah. you can just get tower plating without having to get vision or realm, right? Because, yeah. well, they're they're gone. You're not. There's no threat to you anyways. So that's kind of a special case. But for the most part, this tends to be the. Uh, top three in order for for me that's what I, how i always play the game yeah that's how i always play the game and i say resetting is number one just because if you have an like like in this case when you have 3k or 2.3k to buy your storm razor yeah. like why would you ever not want to just recall buy that and now just beat the fuck out of them because now you could just yeah. come back to lane and then you can do this second one like then you can still just do them in order right you reset and then you do this you come push the wave in, and now you get vision in realm and tower putting because you're way ahead um so this play was fine because the plating was so low just yeah time. well you're about you're resetting here anyway so yeah the plate's so low that you just hit it one time and you're you're out and their bottom lane's gone right so yeah but that's yeah. just that that's the three priorities for when you're slow pushing into a tower not a, a slow i say slow push for the most part just because that gives you the most time because when you have a slow push then their next wave is going to be caught here. It's going to stay here for a bit. It's going to push up, but they're not. Most of the time, they're not going to be able to clear the next wave in time, and then it's going to get caught like right by your tower here. So at that, at that point, um, <clears throat> when you come back to lane in time, because again, you know, we're not wasting time on tower plating when we need to reset. We're just getting the fuck out of here, buying our item, and coming back. Because if we do that fast enough, the wave will be caught like just outside of our tower range. We can catch it and catch it for a freeze if we're strong enough, or we can catch the wave there and just not miss anything, right? If if we if they yeah. still have party, um, but yeah, those are those top three that I recommend always considering when like and keep it in mind before you're even hitting the tower, right? Before you get there, you know you're building up a slow push. You recognize it. Start thinking, what am I doing after this? Where is my mid laner? Where is my jungler? What is my top laner doing? Like top lane is less important in it, but you still should consider it factor it in because you know TPs and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, because if you see your junglers in a spot like Scuttle, hey, we can just go give him pressure on Scuttle. Or we can maybe even just do a dragon real quick. Or we can get Scuttle and then rotate mid together and four-man gank mid. Or we can just invade their jungle and maybe we find their jungler there and kill them or steal their camps and just get vision and their war jungle together. And that's yeah. fucking broken when you get vision control. Um, and, yeah, that that's pretty much all I had to say about that part. <laughs> yeah. And I think I go more in detail on uh in like the other video with a couple more matchups just because the guy asked about them um about that and i can just link you that yeah definitely <coughs> i take the time to watch it but 
Uh, yeah. Do you have any more questions? I guess, I guess if we want to go back over those questions then. So striving for, I would say right now, just strive. First of all, just strive to put into practice what we, the session went over the session, like building slow pushes whenever you can. And I, I hope, I, I think you know how to build a slow push, right? Yeah. Like any time, any time a wave is bouncing back from a tower, it's going to be able to be slow pushed anytime. Yeah. Assuming that they don't have together, right? Yeah. Assuming they don't have the the wave clear to shove it out, as long as you last hit it. But yeah, I, I and I do. You'll learn. I do go a lot more in depth on the slow push because in the other matchup, slow push is actually like the most effective tactic for him in that game. I think so. <clears throat> goes over that more, but try to build up slow pushes a lot because you can do a lot with the pressure whenever they crash. Because obviously, the bigger the wave, the more time before it, before it bounces back. Um, and just learn to use the intermission in the windows. Um. Focus on using your W a little later rather than as like the yeah. first thing to hit them with because trust me, you will notice the damage difference, especially if you can get it off with press the attack proc. It's insane. Um, but it's not, don't greed for it with the press the attack proc. Like, if you're not going to be able to get it, just use it, but try to, you know, just, just try Never to, mind. yeah, try, try to like learn the threshold of how long do I have on my W before I'm going to like lose the uh, option to use it. And then, so short term. I would just say try to just implement our stuff that we talked about macro here. Slow push, so slow push, camera movement. Slow push, camera movement. Uh, making sure you put in the two, three priorities and practice them. Uh, don't autopilot. Try to focus on the game as much as you can. Long term goals, I would say, is more like camera movement. Trying to learn how, like CSing is really important. You should never feel like okay with missing two CS that you could have gotten. Like, yeah. don't be like, "Fuck me, I missed my CS. I'm shit." But like, be like, yeah. "I'm shit." You know, like, yeah. God damn it, I can't be missing those. Um, I think honestly, this game was a pretty good game, so I don't really have too much specific stuff. And like, hey, what what are we short term, long term yet? I think next session after two games, we might be able to see more of like, what are your habits, yeah. rather than like. Did you just do something right or wrong this game, right? Yeah. And next game, I'll probably try to talk a little less, too, during the live game to give it more, like, your live decision-making by yourself rather than me helping and influencing it. Because, you know, I don't, you don't have me voicing over any macro yeah. in all your other solo games, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> that just helps me see your, your decision-making and, like, if you have any bad habits. Um, and then also... Really, really consider um, anytime you can. Like, if you're coming from base and the wave is not going to be hitting your tower for a bit, just path through like this, path through the river, you know, just look for something and then go up here. Nothing happens. Okay, we just go right back down through tri bush, right? Assuming we're red side <laughs> or bottom yeah. left side, not in this case. Um, <laughs> otherwise, you know, it'd be same thing, but from this side, like just come down this way, sitting here, nothing happens. Okay, we don't go down through the river, right? And if they're pushing up, we just cut back through here, go to our tower. Oh, yeah. <sighs> um, but, and then, yeah, I, I think your clicks are pretty good. Just try to click more. I, I know you said wrist issues. So yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe not if that really impacts it that much. Um, just if I grind like seven games, like, I just, yeah. Just so or, just, I mean, have you like talked to a doctor about it or anything? Or is uh, it just, it's just, it's just like reset. Maybe try like to last, last, last try to get it checked if you can, or like find a solution, like get an arm brace that might help. Because I mean, the earlier if it's starting to hurt now, like you, you can still probably prevent it some. You know, just stretch your wrists a lot. I, I, dude, I stretch my wrists like fifteen times a day, like just all the time. Whenever I have downtime, I'm stretching my wrists. It's like a habit at this point, but. <laughs> that, that that does help me um and then last thing be patient with the waves if it's coming into you don't risk the death not worth it ever and yeah. you, you i, I really i'm sure you know maybe you're like oh but i don't think you'll die or like i don't die to it very often uh, you probably die to it more than you think i still die to it sometimes when i'm not paying attention when i go autopilot but as soon as i do i'm like holy shit i, I just lost myself the game yeah because that is the worst thing you can ever do, especially early on. Because you lose the whole big wave and then you die. Yeah, and if you if you do that early in the game, like you're never getting that back. 
You're too far behind. But. Um, uh, so my my the, my clicking was fine. Uh, was my sissing? Sissing was okay. I think. Was sissing was all right. It, it was all right. Um, I I I mean like. It was my first game of the day, so. I was yeah. Like, uh. To be honest, like. Watching, I mean, CSing in solo queue, it's like, people, I never really say, like, strive for, strive for 10 CS, because, dude, I don't even get 10 CS a game in solo queue, because you're not yeah. farming out, out of yeah. lane a lot of the time. Dude, it's yeah. North America. People fight non-fucking stop, man. You don't have time to farm all the time, but. That's yeah, a tough yes, though. Uh, I mean, your farm looks pretty, pretty normal here, like 87 at 11, almost 90. That's, that's, I mean, that's solid. It's not. It's not perfect, but it's solid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you need to work on farming. You know, <laughs> yeah. I would just say the only type of farming you need to work on is just letting the wave come into you. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, the last thing is, uh... Uh, and then I guess the feeling too safe. Huh. I don't know if I saw too much. Like I feel too safe. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, the only way you can really overcome that is just like, is just testing yourself. Like limit, it's, it's kind of a meme, but you know, limit testing. Um, yeah. I mean, that that it, there is purpose to it. You're you're in, you're in, plat three. This is your time to be doing that kind of play. Like, yeah. if Might learn well. what works and not because if you do that, if you hit it like diamond two and try to do something that's not going to work, it's going to be a lot yeah. worse for you in the long run in that game than it is in this elo. You're not yeah. gonna get punished too hard. I'm gonna ask you again. Like, uh, is it like pr pretty reasonable to to hit like D three? For uh, you? Are you just asking me yeah. off that game? I, uh, I mean... like. You, like I'm like my goal is like before school starts, so I'm trying to like within the next month or two. Within a month or two. Oh, well, since you've hit plat yeah. one, it's possible. D four is possible. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't try to like. I mean, if you're gonna be playing a lot, it's it's definitely possible. But yeah, I'm just I'm just grinding a lot this summer. And then, I uh, wouldn't like school starts. I'm gonna like I'm gonna like probably stop playing as much. Okay. So, like I'm, the summer is just like it's a grind summer. So yeah. I'm yeah. To coaching and... I mean, I, it's definitely possible. Is if you're right. putting in the effort, if you're putting in the time, um, if you're really working on your mechanics a lot, because I, I I definitely think I think you can. I mean, you played well this game. The fights were played well. I. Don't think you, like anything looked too terrible this game. I, like nothing stood out to me. Like oh my god, that was so awful. Mm -hmm. Just certain small little things like using W first is kind of yeah. Kind that's of the I, I wanted to W and then Olsen. because <laughs> we didn't have any CC. So that's the, like yeah, but I mean I if they're in auto attack range, don't use W until you've already gotten like or until they're out of range or until you've already gotten a couple stacks on them. Okay. <clears throat> um like that W right there, that's fine. Just poke. Mm -hmm. But normally I don't you don't want to like, oh, we're gonna try to fight, let me just W in. Like wait till you have a pow more powerful W. Mm -hmm. And then camera. Ca camera is honestly like one of the biggest things <laughs> that I yeah, saw, that's... to be honest. And, like, I, I don't, I understand that, like, some people are like, camera, what do you mean? Like, camera's not a big deal, but, yeah, it, it really is. It's like, it's like saying, and if someone's playing basketball and they're taking, like, free, free point throws and their form is, like, garbage, or, like, they're doing granny shots, yeah. they're like, yeah, but it went in, though. Like, dude, what do you, yeah. like, are you, what do you mean? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, it's really good to me. All right. Um... <laughs> Uh, probably I'll probably do it like in a maybe. Uh, maybe when you recommend like the next session. Um, I would say at least three or four days from now. Three or four days, at least. All right, at, I'll yeah. probably do it. Uh, so that'd be like Tuesday Friday. or Wednesday or Friday. It's good. So if you're free, like Thursday, Friday, then. Yeah, I'll definitely be free. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, I'm in summer two right now. Feels good, man. Yeah, it feels really good. Summer grind sesh for like one more month, not even like three more weeks. God damn it! I know, man. 
Gotta go. Gotta go hard for the last three weeks. Um, three weeks to grind, bro. Yeah. Get on it. <laughs> yeah. But. All right. Um. Fall. I think. Pretty good session. 